Hi, I'm Alan at B&H. Shooting in cold, wet, or similarly harsh weather conditions can be a challenge, but with the right tools and techniques, extreme weather shooting can also be quite rewarding. Cold weather affects camera gear in measured steps. Below a certain temperature, the camera's LCD can begin operating erratically, though the camera itself would most likely continue to function increasingly slower until the battery basically goes to sleep. Digital cameras depend on batteries that do their jobs well as long as the temperatures remain above the freezing mark. Though many cameras will operate down to about 14 degrees Fahrenheit before problems set in, the camera's performance levels, including recycling and LCD refresh times, become progressively sluggish as the temperatures plunge. To better guarantee uninterrupted cold weather shooting, carry spare batteries in warm inner coat or vest pockets. When your camera begins to noticeably slow down, swap it out with a warm backup battery and put the cold one back in your pocket to warm up for the next go around. If used rechargeables, the best performers are lithium-ion batteries, followed by NICADs and nickel metal hydride batteries. Although most cameras these days do fine in light snow or rain, for extra protection, you might want to look into protective covers such as lens coats and lens skins. In addition to making it easier to handle your cold gear, these padded covers also protect the finish of your cameras and lenses against scratches and moisture. Tripods and monopods also need addressing if you plan on using them under wintry conditions. Given the choice, carbon fiber tripods are easy to handle in cold temperatures because unlike their aluminum counterparts, they do not conduct heat or cold well, making them easier to handle barehanded. If you plan on using an aluminum tripod, foam padded lead coverings are available from about a half a dozen manufacturers. A bit of rain or snow usually proves harmless, but for heavier precipitation, when using gear that isn't thoroughly weatherproof, you should strongly consider a waterproof camera enclosure. Made of soft, heavy gauge plastic materials with optically pure lens ports, there are a number of weatherproof enclosures such as rain covers and capes designed for use with all camera systems. A common cold weather phenomenon is moisture condensation. Freezing condensation can form when transition between frigid outdoor temperatures and warmer, higher dew point indoor temperatures. While condensation is more of a nuisance than a cause for alarm, you don't want moisture to find its way into the interior portions of your camera lenses where it can potentially preclude real problems. A simple method of preventing condensation from gathering on your gear when transitioning between extreme temperatures is to seal your cameras and lenses in plastic Ziploc style bags before going from cold to warm temperatures. The cold surface temperatures of your camera gear will still cause condensation, but it'll be limited to the outside of the plastic bag while your gear remains chilled but bone dry. Gloves keep your hands warm, but they can also make it difficult to change camera settings, which is why I strongly recommend gloves from Freehands and Aquatech. Waterproof, windproof, and lined with either fleece or thinsulate, these gloves feature peel-back fingertips on the thumb and index fingers that enable you to tap touch screens, dial smartphones, and operate the smallest camera controls. To get your equipment to your final destination safe, dry, and secure, B&H stocks a variety of hard and soft-sided cases, backpacks, and duffels designed to keep your gear dry even when submerged in water. Most memory cards are reliable to temperatures well below freezing, but before your memory cards start to fail, your camera's battery and memory card door hinges and plastic connector covers can easily become brittle enough to snap off if you don't handle them gingerly. Finally, for maintaining a moisture-free environment for your travel gear, we recommend placing silica gel desiccant packets in the interiors of your camera bags and cases to passively absorb moisture from their interiors. To keep these packets conditioned, they should be placed in a warm oven after each trip and sealed in resealable moisture-free plastic bags afterwards so they can be reused on your next extreme climate assignment. Similarly, there are also body and lens caps available from BRNO that have silica-filled compartments that help to absorb moisture that might be lurking inside your camera or lens. Cold and snowy weather can easily discourage picture taking during the winter months. Truth is, armed with the right gear, clothing, and attitude, taking pictures in cold, wet, or similarly extreme weather conditions can be a creatively rewarding experience. My name is Alan. Thanks for watching. Whether you're a hobbyist or a professional, B&H has the answers to your questions. Experience a world of technology at our New York City Superstore. Connect with us online or give us a call. Our staff of experts is happy to help.